Fashion Week is on like Donkey Kong. I don't yes. know if people say that. <laughs> and you know we love those celebrity looks. So Mel, who has stood out for you so far? Well, she makes sure she does stand out because she's almost naked the whole time. And my choice for standout wow. is Julia Fox. <laughs> We had to actually blur this because this does not even qualify as a bikini. It's less than a bikini. I'm just gonna call this body jewelry that is holding on for dear life. <laughs> yeah. That's what Julia Fox is doing. She's actually wearing body jewelry, but that trench was at the Pretty Little Things New York Fashion Week show. Um, it was a collab with none other than Naomi Campbell. Mm -hmm. So the trench that you saw there, that's actually a Naomi Campbell piece. But I don't think Julia wants you to look at the trench coat. No, oh no God. one's looking but at that trench. It wasn't only her only look, she also hit the red carpet for the Pandora. It's basically they're launching their lab created diamonds. And she had, uh, the, the theme was wristwatch. So yeah. she's got a really bandeau a and a yeah. skirt with the wristwatch. Yeah. Is that the real theme? Uh, that yeah. was the theme. Oh yeah. wow. Uh, and then she has this funny mullet. Uh, Fairy-like long black mullet hair extensions. Uh, but listen, whatever you think of Julia Fox, She's got confidence, that's all I know. Yeah. So yeah. good for yeah. her. Good for her. That's yeah. true. In phase, in phase, she's bit. got that confidence. You mentioned Naomi Campbell, and so she was my pick, and she showed up at a bunch of different events, but this was her at the Victoria's Ooh. Secret event. I oh. mean, come that's on. Gorgeous. Look at this, she is an absolute oh. golden goddess in this dress. Um, like, I don't know what it's made out of, but it looks metallic, it looks like it would be heavy. And this woman, again, she's in her 50s, she looks exactly the same, in my opinion, I as she did in the 90s. The shoes are an interesting choice. And you know what wow. I think they say? I don't know, they've got a story, but I think what she's saying is, is I know now how to party, and I'm gonna be on my feet all night, and, like, and I, yes. I, will, I refuse I to shoes. have uncomfortable shoes, right? Or she's saying, I'm so gorgeous, who's looking at my feet? That's yeah. her too. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody. True enough. Yeah. Uh, and I know they say black don't crack, but as a black person, that's something different. She's on something different. <laughs> I don't know what that is, y'all, but I'm looking into it. <laughs> you know who I went with? I went with Reese Witherspoon's daughter, Ava Philippe, and not so much because of her outfit, super cute though, Chanel, but because I had to do a double take because I thought it was her mother. Go back up to this face, look at that. Yeah. Does that not look exactly like Reese Witherspoon? It does look like Reese Witherspoon, but she also looks like her father, Ryan Philippi. Yeah. Yeah, oh my gosh, you're right, really like half half. Half. Wow. Oh. Is that how it works? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, I think so. <laughs> All right, so my choice is a Canadian icon, Pamela Anderson. <gasps> yeah. I know most people are gonna look at this outfit and go, what's so great about this? What I love about this, she's wearing this dove gray silk blouse and wide leg pants, but it's more the era that she's in. Pamela says she's in a new chapter of her life and she's embracing her natural beauty. She's barely wearing any makeup anymore. And I'm telling you, this is a woman we know from the 90s doing Playboy and Baywatch, and I think she's never looked I agree. more beautiful. She looks stunning. She is 56. And I love this because, you know, right now, social media, there's all, everybody's like changing their face and doing all kinds of stuff. And she's embracing her natural beauty. And I love her for it. And I love the simplicity. She's never looked more beautiful. I know, I she, I she was it. here. You know, remember we I um, know. interviewed her yeah. here. Yeah. And that's the one thing that struck me. It's one thing to see her and she still looks great. She's got very little makeup on, but not a whole lot. Yeah. But her aura, when you talk about her era, it's her aura. Yeah, the energy she She came brings. backstage and there was such a serenity and peace about her. And she's been through a heck of a lot. Yeah. And I think to, to get through all of that and still be so self-centered and calm, yeah. um, she really drew me in. And sure. I just fell in love with her. Me too. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, she was incredible. But I just, I'll just i never forget that she said backstage to us that she's not used to people rooting for her. And oh, well, it was sad. just such that's a, but sad. now she is in this era. I mean, it's sad it took this long, but people are now, like, I, I feel like she's she's fully come into a whole new side of herself. Yeah. And I just, we are cheering you on, yes. Pamela. Yes. 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 Beautiful. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.